Just think of the investment that is normally required to create such a company to hire 40 persons. Just imagine the cost of setting up such a company and the cost of operation until it breaks even. We are talking in excess of $400,000 invested over one year only. We are talking about 1,100 people who have graduated with the potential of earning US, pounds, or euro in excess of local wages. You receive what you put in. It is never a walk in the park. Quality work is required at all times. My department has recently completed Dominica's digital strategy. This has been handed to the Honorable Prime Minister for review by his cabinet. We look forward to its ratification. The promise has been to provide this training to all. So we have increased the age range from 40 to 45 to ensure more of our people are engaged. Many will feel that they are being left out. But your government is committed to making sure that our people are digitally enabled. We are currently working on creating 12 innovation hubs using existing community centers to provide training to all as promised. Most of these have been inspected and the budget to procure the required e equipment has been approved. I remind you to stay tuned and ready to be trained. Knowledge is power and never wasted. I want to reiterate the government's commitment to the people, private sector and government employees. Today we are here to launch Work Online Dominica 3, no longer a pilot initiative. We have seen how it works and how it has transformed the lives of many of our youth in Dominica here today. We want to congratulate all those who have graduated thus far and continue to wish you success. Work together as teams, as not all of you are leaders or entrepreneurs. There is unity in togetherness and strength. Learn from each other. While many say it is impossible, I dare say I know one person who earned 4,000 US a month. Let's continue to be prepared, not to be left behind. The government, along with its partners UNDP and Israel, is fully committed to the people of Dominica. By not only ensuring we have one of the best telecommunications infrastructures in the Caribbean, but also ensuring our people are knowledgeable and skilled. Dominica Digital Transformation Strategy will guide us on the path forward to the digital transformation of Dominica. It will support our people, businesses, and government to fully embrace digital technologies. It will guide the government to provide the political leadership, regulatory amendments, strategic decisions and programs, organizational changes and necessary resources to become dynamic digital Dominica. Our people become a more digitally skilled population, jobs created in the digital economy and affordable access to mobile devices and data services for all. As a testament to the government's continued commitment to the people, this year we will focus on digital skills and technology adoption. The goal is to better equip individuals and businesses in Dominica for the jobs and economy of the future and to spur innovation and productivity growth. A co-working space will also be constructed to allow businesses place to train and sharpen employees' digital skills. Innovation hubs will be created across the island for better access. The project will also cater
continue supporting training for employment opportunities with global firms and clients. It will include certified digital skills development and workforce readiness, coaching programs targeting the development of skills identified to be in demand within digitally enabled professions in Dominica or in the Eastern Caribbean region. In addition to the digital skills training program, the project will provide paid internship program for young adults and youth who have received digital skills training. Funds have been allocated to assist young adults and youth who are interested in creating a small business that focuses on digital innovation. Much of this would not be possible with the help and assistance of our amazing partners who not only put this program together, but also the funding to implement it three times in a row. Nicole King, Country Director Israel, and your staff. Louis Francisco, head of UNDP Dominica. It is said that many hands make with light, and certainly you have made our task much lighter while ensuring our goal of educating our people is achieved. We look forward to continuing working with you. Thank you very much. Greetings to all. Thank you. Now we'll hear Kelly Bowers, Career Development and International Students Coordinator at the Dominica State College. Give me one second. Give me one second. Sure. Me one second. I would just like to make one. Sorry. Yes, to the, to the listening public, just one slight um, change. Um, one of the things that the government has done, as the minister was saying, was the, the use and the creation of our innovation hubs. And I dare say some of these hubs are actually available and already in use. And one of the things that we're going to do is to reduce the requirement that you must have a digital device or must have internet. Because we have some of those hubs available right now, persons will be able to register, and if they don't have a device, and if they don't have internet, they could go to one of those hubs. So when you go on to your community, it means that you could go to another one close to your community to make sure that everybody community, okay? Thank you. So now we'll here at the closing ceremony from Miss Elena Bowers from the Dalton State College. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Dominica State College. My job is by far the easiest job here this morning. Let me take this opportunity to thank our partners in this venture. We would like to thank Israel Aid for their dedication and the commitment that they have shown to Dominica. You have committed yourselves to the development of the Work Online Dominica project. We at the college appreciate you. On behalf of the Dominica State College, I would like to thank the government of Dominica, the Ministry of Public Works, Public Utility, the Dominica Caribbean Digital Transformation Unit, and the UNDP for your continued support to the Work Online Dominica project. We want to thank you, the press, in a special way for coming here today to witness the launch of Work Online Dominica Cohort 4. We look forward to your assistance in getting some much needed exposure for the great opportunity afforded to our people. Once again, thank you everyone. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Ms. Bowers. So to all the persons who are listening to us, the website is workonlinedominica.org. Work 
www.onlinedominica.org. If you go on there right now, it will say applications are closed. But by 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock today, the applications will be open. So we ask all of you, when you go on to there, when you go to our Facebook pages, don't just like it. Share it with a friend or family who you feel may be part and parcel of that. We'd like to encourage persons who are unemployed to use that opportunity if you have digital skills. We'd also like to um, employ a lot of the men to also take part on, in this um, in project. A lot of our people in Dominica have a lot of skills, and this is a, a fantastic opportunity to sharpen your skills if you already have digital skills or all types of skills. Take, for example, if you're good at, um, at in, in French, and you can translate. That is a, a skill that you can use and you can put online and sell. If you're great at speaking, creating adverts, that is an opportunity. So if you're good at copywriting, at, at um, reviewing documents and making sure everything is, is, is correct, those are skills that you can put online and, and sell. So maybe Connie, we want to just give a few more examples of some of the different jobs that persons have been doing. Um, online and, and that would help. Okay, so as Robbie said, stated, the applications will be available on our website later today and applications will close on the 24th of July 2023. And, oh, applications are open. So you can go online right now and apply. Great. And applications will close on the 24th of July 2023. And we're scheduled to kick off this program in August. So we look forward to your applications. Um, in relation to the jobs that are available, it's limitless. Um, there's from content writing, data entry, um, graphics, anything that you, you desire or you want to do, you will get the skills. You will upgrade your skills, will up, um, help you to build your knowledge base on whatever it is that you want. And obviously, will help you to build a, a great profile, your resumes, everything. Um, we use platforms such as Wix. Um, also, we use Freelancer. We use Upwork, um, Fiverr. So you will have access to all these platforms and the courses are free. Um, again, I know there are a lot of questions and you can go on our Facebook page and there's a question and answer chat, chat that you can ask your questions and we will respond to you. And again, we'll be going out in some communities. Next two weeks, we'll be out in the Lapin constituency, in Portsmouth Cottage constituency. We will be going to Grand Bay and of course the Kalinago territory. So look out for us. Next two weeks, we will be there and we will be able to answer all your questions. We'll be able to network. You will have some, our past participants will also join us to give their live testimonials. And um, we look forward to getting as much applications as possible this year for Work Online Dominica Cohort 4. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Cornelia. So again, we encourage all of you who are listening to, to join, to apply. If you don't apply, you can't be part of it. And if you have friends and family who you think that will suit them, please share the information um, with them so that they too can benefit from this fantastic opportunity. So we want to thank the media for being here. We want to thank P.S. Lancelot for your presence, um, Nicole King for your presence, Cornelia for your presence, and Ms. Bowers from the Dominica State College. Very important. The intention is to ensure that right now we do a cohort of 60 individuals. The vision is that with the um, partnering with the Dominica State College, we can now expand that program to a lot more individuals. So we have also have a, what you call a, a training of trainers where more persons will be trained. And again, by using the digital hubs that we will have, it means persons all across Dominica will have access to, to learning to sharpen those skills. So again, we want to thank everyone for being here, and we really look forward to your participation. Thank you again. This was the Work Online Dominica of Lunch at the Dominica State College. Thanks for joining us today. Have a blessed day. Thank you.